So in this video, I want to talk about cholinergic receptors, the receptors that acetylcholine mediates its effects through. So they come in two flavors. There's nicotinic and muscarinic receptors. The nicotinic receptors are ligand-gated ion channels, and the muscarinic receptors are G-protein-coupled receptors, which is pretty interesting that you have acetylcholine as a molecule working on so different receptor types. So the nicotinic come in two flavors. There's nicotinic neural and nicotinic muscular, so NN and NM receptors. So let's first look at where they are found. And so if we move over to our favorite figure, which kind of shows um, the two neuron system of the, of the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system, we're going to remember that the preganglionic neuron, or every neuron that comes from the CNS, is going to uh, release acetylcholine. So we find acetylcholine here, 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 here. And also, we're going to always think about the somatic nervous system, which also releases acetylcholine. So where are these NN receptors where acetylcholine works on? They are on neurons on in the peripheral ganglia on this postsynaptic, on the somas of the postsynaptic neurons. We find them here, NN. We find them here, NN. We find them also in the adrenal medulla, because remember, the adrenal medulla is nothing else than a postganglionic neurons that lost their fibers. And then um, here also on this special occasion. And then these were all places for the places for the neuronal nicotinic. And now we have the NM receptor on the skeletal muscle because the M stands for muscle. So we find them in the somatic nervous system on the skeletal muscle. So this is the NN and NM subtype. Now we're going to move over to the muscarinic receptors. So these are the receptors that sit at the effector organs. And so um, we have actually five subtypes of muscarinic receptors, M1 to M5. Um, M1, M4, M5 are very important in the CNS, but we don't worry so much right now when we're thinking about the autonomic nervous system, which really comes down to the M2 and the M3 receptor. And it's actually pretty easy where they are found because M2 is found on the heart, it's GI coupled. It's found on the heart and it, it mediates inhibition on the, of the heart. And M3 is fine everywhere else everywhere else. And it's a GQ coupled receptor. So you really only have to think about uh, M2 on the heart and then anything else, any place else, it's going to be the M3 receptor. So we find those on the effector organs of the parasympathetic nervous system. So we can see, so where is acetylcholine else released? We said, well, it's released always on this first neuron, on this preganglionic neuron. But obviously also the parasympathetic uh, nervous system uses acetylcholine as its uh, neurotransmitter. So here are the effector organs where we find M2 on the heart and M3 receptors. Now the sympathetic nervous system uh, mainly uses norepinephrine as a neurotransmitter, but there is an exception of the sweat glands. This is very special that it is sympathetically innervated. We sweat when we run, or run away from the lion, but it releases acetylcholine. And so what is going to be um, the receptor? Well, it needs to be a cholinergic receptor, and it's not the heart, it's a sweat glands, so it's M3. This concludes a video on the different cholinergic receptors.